tonight I'm going to be making a braided pizza. Um, I've made it before and it is good. So what you're going to need is a pizza crust in the cold section and any kind of cheese and toppings that you want. So I'm putting pepperoni and then the pizza sauce. You can use Alfredo sauce if you want. I got sliced my, um, black olives. I get the canned mushrooms. You can use fresh because I don't use the mushrooms up before they go to bed, so I get the canned um, or in the jar. Um, mozzarella. You can put any cheese you want. Uh, Parmesan cheese. Um, I think that's it. And then you're going to need to melt some butter with some garlic powder. I put a tablespoon of butter with, I'd say, a teaspoon of garlic powder. It's almost melted. Preheat your oven to... 425 degrees. Let's open the pizza crust. You're going to have to put it on parchment paper. Spray, I spray the parchment paper with some um, nonstick spray. Roll this out. Okay, you want to um, spread it out. Like that. Now I'm going to add. Pizza sauce. I got half a jar left, so I'm gonna put. You can put as much sauce or as little sauce as you want. I don't like a whole lot of sauce, but I'm thinking I'm gonna use the rest of this jar. Just spread that out. And keep it in the middle because you're going to cut this part, the sides, to braid it. Okay, now all you do is you start uh, adding on your toppings. I'm going to start out with the pepperoni. I get the ones that are already pre-sliced. You don't have to add pepperoni if you don't like it. If You can make this a vegetable pizza if you want. If, you're not, if you don't eat meat, pizza you can add any topping you want. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is add some, I'm going to add some 
black olives. Like black olives. Now I'm going to put some mushrooms in there. I like mushrooms. Let me get in the jar trying to get some of the juice off of there. I don't want it so a soggy pizza. And if you want more pep a lot more pepperoni, you can add more on top. You can double double it. And then I'm gonna add some mozzarella cheese I like cheese but a lot <laughs> okay Now that's all the toppings that I'm going to put on there. Now what you do is you're going to have to use, you can use a knife, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like put, I tell you little one inch slices like that diagonally. Make sure that they're separated. one inch slices and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull that over there and pull that over there just keep going like that like you would bre making braids See all the, the garlic butter is melted. Take you a, a little basting brush and then just put, just rub it all over the dough on top and then just rub it. And then what I'm going to do is sprinkle some Parmesan cheese. on the top put it in the oven for 20 minutes and I'll be back when it's done okay it only took 16 minutes for this to get done um, I'm 
going to cut into it. Check this up inside. It looks like it's done inside too. So you can see. Okay, I'm going to let this set for a few minutes and then I'm going to come back and try it for you. Okay, let it set for about five minutes. Just cut into it. Don't you see? What it looks like inside. And then there's the, you see where it's braided. Around, see it's done on that side mm. it looks good doesn't it it is good Come on. Taste it. Mmm. That is good. Okay. That's how you make braided pizza.